Welcome to the first episode of No Nonsense Networking. I'm your host, the IT guy, and today we'll be looking at this configuring a Linksys router. Let's get started. So I have my trusty box cutter over here. I'm just gonna open the box and see what's inside. A quick start guide. Throw it away. Of course, the router itself, documentation CD, a UTP cable, and a power adapter. So I've kept only the three most important items in the box. That is the power adapter, of course the router itself, and a UTP cable. If you don't have that, it's handy to have it in the box. Now let me show you where you can connect everything and how to configure the router. First you want to plug in, of course, the power cable. That is very, very necessary. Just plug it in right here. And then plug in your UTP cable into the yellow internet port into your ISP's modem. So once you've connected the UTP cable to your PC, you should normally see this web page. This is the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi setup page. And if you do not see this immediately pop up, just open up your web browser and normally you'll be redirected to this page instead of your default home page. Now we're going to configure this router manually, so you just have to click this checkbox right here, which says I want to skip setup and configure my router manually, and also agree to their license terms in this checkbox and just click next. Now this is the start page of the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi sign-in. As you can see, it asks for an email address and password. That would be the case if you would have made a Linksys Smart Wi-Fi account, but we're going to skip that and we're going to click down here below for local access, click here. Now it asks for a password and the password for these Linksys routers is admin, A-D-M-I-N, admin. Now we're finally inside the router so we can start configuring it. As you can see there are a lot of options over here. Uh, there are like media, there's like guest control, there's like everything you can configure. But we're going to stick with the basics and we're going to start with configuring the Wi-Fi. So in this box, we can change our network settings, like the network name, we're going to change that to something else. Let's put in the IT guy. All right. Change the password to something else, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can choose to broadcast the SSID. You want that, of course. You can change the channel right here, set it to auto. And everything should be fine the way it is. Then do the same for the five gigahertz. So the IC guy, just just a name, five gigahertz, and change that password to something you would like to use. Then you can change these settings as well. Just click apply, click yes, and just wait. And to verify that everything is working. Click the network icon on the right hand corner of the screen. And if you see your network name appearing in the network list, that means that your network is now active. 